Where the heck is Potato? Oh wait, wait! Oh my god! We got Potato! <laughs> Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog and welcome to another amazing day here at the Reptarium BHB and in Michigan. You know, we actually are open up later today and I am actually bringing RJ over so it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for today to... Uh-oh. Wait a second. What's going on here? Why is this open? This is Potato's cage and it was completely open. What's going on? Where the heck is Potato? Okay, so this might be a little bit of an issue here. Uh, we're actually, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, guys. All right, I'm gonna call Lori really quick and just make sure to find out if she took Potato out for some reason. I don't know why she would. Um, this may be the first escape we have here at the Reptarium. Yeah, hi, Lori. Yeah, I know, I came in this morning and Potato stage was open. Did you have him out? Is he like somewhere else? No, no, he's, no, the cage is just wide open, like the, the glass is open and he's not in there. You don't think anyone else messed with him? Okay, well, all right, I'm going to go looking for him. I mean, obviously, maybe we just forgot to blast it or something like that and he's out, so. Okay, I'll, I'll try to find him. All right, all right, bye. So we just have a couple cages that don't have locks on them. That happens to be one of them. They're actually coming this week, unfortunately. So he is a ground dweller. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of look behind everything here. Uh, again, this is the Centralian Blue Tongue Skink. He is a fan favorite. He, people love him. So I'm definitely bummed out. I mean, I'm just gonna kind of look behind everything here. Again, hoping that maybe he just found a nice cozy spot that uh, he could get in and hide. I don't see him anywhere here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a trip. I'm gonna to have to look behind pretty much everything and hopefully find him. Uh, I can't imagine he went that far, uh, but I don't know. See, all this area he can't get behind, but there's things like over here he could potentially get behind. There's a lot of places that he can. One place that I really hope that he didn't find is if he comes over here, again, I'll just look behind all this stuff first. If he gets behind here, that's gonna be really hard. I will try to get back there, but uh, we have a lot to do today to get ready for the open in a few hours. But one of the things I guess I have to add to my list is uh, trying to find potato. So guys, I have pretty much scoured the entire place. I cannot find potato. There's a lot of little places that he can hide, and this is just kind of a perfect example of why it's so important for us to never let anything out. I'm not 100% sure what happens. We have cameras throughout the entire place. We definitely know that he was in here after hours, so we know that he didn't get stolen or anything like that because, again, there's only a couple cages that don't have locks on them, and that'll change in the next couple days. Every cage will have a lock on it, but he was definitely here, so I can go back on surveillance because we have every inch of this place has cameras in it, and I can just find out maybe a possibility of someone that opened the cage to do a little maintenance forgot to lock it i'm not 100 percent sure but uh as for now this just is a bummer man oh my god i can't believe potato's gone i sure hope he shows up soon but man there is so many places he could go so i'm going to keep looking but in the meantime i have a lot of work to do still a handful of preparations before we open up the reptarium today and of course hopefully find potato wherever that little silly monkey could be but one of the things that i get asked probably more than anything when i'm over there is what's up with cookies and cream the two-headed snake is she coming over the fact is is that she still assist feeding but it's really a good thing because as long as she is accepting food when we put it in her mouth and passing it that is amazing it's when these guys can't digest that's the problem so as long as we can continue to get nutrition in I feel pretty confident it won't be too long before she takes her first meal and as soon as she gets established feeding she will be over at the reptarium I can promise you that but just look at how amazing these little girls are oh my god I love them to death so I'm gonna go ahead and assist feed her this pinky head again we're doing this every two or three days uh, she is looking really good but uh, and she's taking it fantastic so uh, fingers crossed she'll start to eat on her own soon and she can be on display at the reptarium and just like that we just put it in her mouth and uh, I'm gonna set her down and we'll come back in you know 15 20 minutes and check on her and typically she always eats on her own so uh, this is a good thing
Couldn't ask Lori if she's had any luck uh, finding potato wherever Lori is. Hey Lori, any luck finding potato yet? No, not yet. Did you look at that footage? Yes, I what did. Happened? He was running around like crazy. Oh, did you see him? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh no, so you actually saw him get out and he was like, what, just going up and down? He, but you didn't see where he ended up? Well, I saw where he was hiding once everybody got here. Oh, so we knew, where was it? It was, he basically got out and ran this way and he kept coming and going behind here. Oh. And then he was running around here, coming in and out of the bathroom. And then this is the last place I see him before people got here. So, do you think you might be still be back here? I looked, unless I can't see between those cages, you know, the black cages. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull these cages out and see if maybe he's still back there. <sighs> you can see he's not there. Oh, is there any way to wind it for this morning or anything like well, that? Yeah, I haven't gone for that. Oh I spent all that gosh. time finding out. <laughs> oh my gosh, potato! He's here somewhere. <laughs> oh, let's hope we can find him. We only have a couple hours before we open. I'd love to find him before we open up, so uh, we'll keep looking. Continue to work. We only have about an hour before it opens, but I did some rocking on this. Again, you know, you guys know the situation. It looks like this after it's all touched up <laughs> for now. It's just the rough, but I love the fact that we could put like a little plant in here. It's a little thing, kind of big old push out right there with rock. It's going over here. Of course, I've got to finish rocking this side and so like that. And then we have the posts that go on the side that'll really tie it in. And then of course, you know, all the foaming and siliconing and touching up and stuff like that. But it's starting to come together, starting to look like uh, it's a finished cohesive unit hopefully within the next few days it will be finished and then I've got to move on to this alligator tank because I'm going to hopefully have the alligators in the next week and a half or so so that would be the last big thing to do and that's going to take me a couple days for sure because there is a lot of work to be done on that you know there's a million little things that just kind of make me happy and stuff like that and Lori surprised me with this of course when people come in and then want to go out and come back in we give them a little stamp and Lori bought this one take a look at this <laughs> how awesome is that you know, I'm worried because he can come like right over here. I mean, he could have gotten anything. If he gets behind these caves over here, we're in big trouble. I know that's, I was looking, but there's so much crap back here. Howls over here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my God, we got potato. Oh my God. Potato, what did you do, you silly monkey? Oh my, oh my God, we found him. I am so happy Potato is back. Oh my gosh, you were out for so long. Oh, my. oh, I'm so happy to have you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I seriously thought he was going to be out for a while. Oh my so gosh. did I. Oh my gosh, potato. You are going back in your cage, buddy. It was... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell you, this surveillance camera stuff helped a lot because oh, at least yeah. we knew where he was. Exactly. Oh my gosh. How awesome is that, guys? Potato is back. And we're going to have the locks here. I think tomorrow the locks come in. So every cage is going to be locked. I have no idea how the cage got left open, but Potato is back for the rapture. I'm going to get him back in his cage, let him get warmed up, and we'll go ahead and give him the night off. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to have Potato back. All right, time to open up the reptarium. Hey guys, how's it hey, going? Hi. Hey, how are you? Come are you? on in. How's things going? Hi, how are you? Hey, nice Sorry to keep you guys waiting a little bit. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, hi guys. Hi guys, hi. How are you? Hi, how's boy. it going? Ah, you uh, cool. What's your name, man? Noah. Noah, what's going on? My son's Noah too. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, it's good, good. good to how meet you? you. Thank you guys for coming. Hi. Thank you. I hope that you'll enjoy it. Thank, thank you guys. You. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks hi. guys. Hi. It's so you nice on the news. Oh, well, thank you. I hope that you'll enjoy it. Hi, how are you? It's so good. I love that. It's awesome. How's it going? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Hi. Hi, how are you? How's it going? How you doing? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. It's so your much. biggest fan here. Oh my gosh. What's, all the time. what's your name? Audra. Audra. It's so good to meet you. What do you want to see today? Lucy. Lucy? Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's up in a tree right now. You watch every one of your videos, don't oh. we? Oh my gosh, well thank you, well welcome, welcome. So we've been open for maybe an hour or so. Uh, Bella is of course another star of the show. She is just uh, sucking up all the attention. People are loving her, but uh, absolutely, definitely the craziest day so far at the Reptarium. There are so many people, it's crazy. Uh, it's almost it's more like a controlled chaos, or maybe just chaos, I'm not 100% sure, but it's absolutely incredible.
incredible. Today, Bella decided she wanted to come out rather than staying in the cage, so she has been out a lot with me, but uh, she's, what do you guys think? Beautiful. <laughs> so you're getting your very first snake. Oh my gosh, and you're getting a ghost corn, ghost you corn snake. Yep. Oh my yeah. gosh, now what made you get a snake? Um, being here, I actually seen them all, well-tempered. I mean, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. It's been a great night, and uh, welcome to owning snakes. Thank you, <laughs> we appreciate it. We've got Daisy out, just kind of chilling out. She's being a sweetheart. What do you think? Is that cool? <laughs> I think he likes it. You think you like Daisy? Isn't she amazing? Yeah. She's a beauty. All right, it's six o'clock, and as I promised, I am going to go get RJ. This will be the first time. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, but we do have Andrea and Lori are both going to help me to make sure this goes completely smoothly so that no one gets hurt. So uh, we know RJ is a puppy dog. He's been around tons and tons of kids and everything else, but uh, this is a little bit of a different situation, so we want to definitely err on the side of caution. Okay. All right. Okay, you can come just on this side. Stay on this side, guys. And you guys can come and pet RJ. Get a feel of his back and his tail. It's pretty amazing. And I'll keep his head on this side so I'm protecting everyone on this way. So if you guys come in this way, you're fine. It's crazy, right? say RJ's over and you can see I'm kind of protecting his head so he can't swing around and then everyone else over here is on this side of it uh, and they're getting an opportunity to see RJ. He is strong, he is big, uh, he wore me out coming over but RJ's starting to calm down now so I think we're in good shape. Somebody that knows me get a picture please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it going on the vlog? Okay, All right, side. good. <laughs> RJ went absolutely amazing. I mean, he was really good. He calmed down. Tons of people got to hold him. I mean, I wasn't expecting to really let people hold RJ, but it worked out just fine, and, and uh, he was really good. Just have to really keep an eye on the actions. And by the way, that's what we're doing here with letting people hold stuff, is that every time we have something out, we either have myself, Lori, or someone else that's here that is really hawkeyeing the animal to just see the action, because we don't want anyone to get bit or anything bad to happen. So it's really important for us to really keep an eye on the animal. So so that if it's starting to get a little stressed out for the animal's sake or if it's starting to get to the point where we think it might bite, we have to pull back. But RJ did absolutely amazing. And there it is, wrapping up the weekend. Oh my gosh. You know, I always thought that the Reptarium had a chance to be successful. And I don't know what the future has to hold, but I tell you what. It is beyond my wildest dreams how incredible it has been. Not only the amount of people through the door, but the reactions, the way that they've been holding snakes, changing people's minds, the amount of people that have come that have never held a snake before and held their snake for the first time has blown my mind. And it is amazing to see people go from like kind of a little tentative and fearful and all of a sudden they explode with excitement. They're like, oh my God, they don't want to stop holding. They want to hold the next one, the next one, the next one. This has been the most incredible incredible thing that I've ever done and I cannot thank all of you for your support whether you're watching you're visiting whatever the case may be this has been amazing and thank you so much with that being said I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys an amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching again your support means the world to me and I truly 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 do love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video make a comment let me know something awesome about yourself because I love reading about you. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.